Hi, Rachel Ayala here. This is bacterial morphology and staining um, techniques. And I'm going to be making um, my slides. And I'm gonna be starting with um, my two uh, mouth and gum slides. So the first one I'm gonna use the, um, the crystal violet stain and the second one is the Congo red stain. Okay, so I have swabbed my mouth and I have placed it on this slide and now I'm going to heat fix it. Okay, so I have my flame right here. Okay. I'm passing it over five times or something like that. Okay, and I'm gonna let that completely dry, okay? All right, so I am, I have placed my Congo Red drop of dye on my slide and I have swapped my mouth and I have, um, with a circular motion, placed it inside the dye. And now I'm gonna be taking my other slide and I'm going to be sliding it with a 30 degree angle on top. Okay, so just wait a Okay, so here we go. Okay, my slide is now smeared and I'm going to let that air dry. All right, so my um, my direct, one direct M slide has now dried um, and I'm gonna put my crystal violet drop and put one to two drops of crystal violet right there located in the center where my um, gum and mouth bacteria is and I'm gonna let that dry for 60 seconds. Okay, it's been 60 seconds and I'm now going to wash off my crystal violet, okay? So I'm not gonna be placing the water directly in um, the dot, because I don't wanna wash off the bacteria, but I'm gonna let it flow over the slide, like so, until it's relatively clear. Okay. Now I'm going to let I'm going to block that and let that completely dry before I take a look at both of these slides underneath the microscope and that is exercise 1 of bacteria bacterial morphology and staining techniques. And I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna be doing exercise two of bacterial morphology and staining techniques. Okay, and I'm gonna be taking um, my inoculating loop and I'm gonna be putting it in my E. coli broth that I have saved from our previous lab. And I'm gonna be placing it using aseptic technique onto my slide. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna heat fix it onto the slide and continue gram staining it. That's what I wanna do is hurry up. And then I'm placing it here. Take a, take a picture and I'm wearing my gown and a mask for this because I'm using um, potent potentially dangerous bacteria for this exercise, E. coli is not something I really want. Okay, and this, is, uh, um, this has been on the slide for 60 seconds and, and I'm going to be washing it off, okay? Gently and not right over the bacteria because we don't want to. I have heat fixed this onto the slide 
and and now I'm rinsing the crystal violet off. I'm going to, now I'm going to be placing my iodine on the slide and I'm gonna be rinsing that off after a few, um, 60 seconds. I'm gonna allow that to sit. And then I'm gonna continue on with the same process of putting the dye on, letting it sit, and then rinsing off with my decolorizer and my saffronin. Um, I'm going to then be doing the same exact process with my, my S. cerevisiae and my S. epidermis. I will then be taking pictures of all these results in my microscope, and I will be putting those pictures on my lab report. Thank you for watching.